Cyberpunk 2077 has finally been released and with everyone wanting to go online and play this game, only one thing can come to my mind and that is I want to start building some PCs and stocking people up for this game. And in the meantime, we're going to be making a bit of money while we do this with the $100 flip up challenge. And you guys are telling me this is one of your favorite things here at Tech Yes yeah City. So let's go through all the details on what has unfolded since the last episode because I gotta be honest with you guys straight away, there has been a lot of new stuff coming through the channel here. I've had to cover a lot of different products, been super flat out busy. And in the meantime, I sold a second RTX 3080 PC. So let's get into the budget and the juicy details of what unfolded. Today's video is brought to you by SCD Keys, delivering you that retail, single and user license key for only 12 bucks after you use the coupon code BFTYC. That's right, this month only, you can get a 30% discount using that coupon and link in the description below. So recapping from the last episode here, we came in with three PCs. We had a 3080 PC, a mid-range PC with a 9070, and then a budget banger on the low end. And we ended up selling all these PCs. In the case of the 3080, we got 3,500 AUD for that PC. We got 600 for the 970 PC. So I got a little bit more than I intended with that one. And then we got 400 for the budget one, but we did have to add in a monitor and a keyboard and mouse. And that cost us $45 to get that combo sold. And we had $330 left over from the kitty, but it was $285 after we spent that on the monitor and keyboard and mouse. And so that left us now with a total of $4,785. And now I've got my hookup in Ipswich for the graphics cards. And he messaged me out of the blue. He said, look, I've got two 3070s and one 3080. I'll only sell you the 3080 if you buy the two 3070s. And I said to myself straight away, I've got to go up there cop this 3080 because RTX 3080s and then subsequently RTX 3080 gaming PCs are in real hot demand at the moment. And so we picked up those three cards and I accidentally left my ad up on Gumtree and I took it down on Facebook for the 3080 PC. And I got another sale off the back of that ad on Gumtree where I had it listed for 3,800 Aussie dollars and then someone came in and paid asking price. And they said, look, I'm keen on a 3080 PC. I want it right now. I need it ASAP. And I said to them, well, look, I can't get the same NZXT case for you, but I can get this case with good airflow. And these are the cases that we've used in the past, the Gamdius Athenas. They're actually got uh, four fans pre-installed, but I decided to put a liquid cooler on the i7-10700F. And the person that picked it up was absolutely over the moon with the PC, not just in the performance, but how it looked the noise, etc., And it really goes to show that if you do pick your parts with PCs really carefully, you can put together some really good value and still get something that looks amazing and performs amazing. And so that's what part of the series is, is about getting that discipline and then uh, essentially giving the best value to people, but still making money in the process. And so what that left us with was the cost of those graphics cards were 3,250 AUD for the 2370s and the 3080. These were the colorful advanced models. I got two advanced models and also one iGame in white aesthetic. And then I still had to go out and outlay the costs uh, for that bill because we had 1,535 Aussie dollars left over. I then used $1,258 of that to then build that 3080 PC out and sell it. And I had to add a Windows 10 key pro on that. So that left us with $277 and we got that 3,800 and we still had two 3070s. So we now have a budget of $4,061 and two RTX 3070s. So we're in such a good place where I then got out the components that are on the table here, which then comes to $2,532. And we've got a double SCD keys, Windows 10 Pro key that we can buy. And that brings us up to $2,560 Aussie dollars for the costs which leaves us now with two RTX 3070 PCs on the table and 1,481 Aussie dollars. So with that tally aside, let's build up our 3070 PCs and then look at the specs and then look at how much we intend to flip these PCs for going into Christmas. Now, in terms of the giveaway, the 3080 giveaway, that's coming in another couple of days as well. Don't worry, I've managed to secure a 3080 giveaway PC and it's gonna be awesome, so stay tuned. And you're gonna see how I did it as well. This is what we call Tech Yes Hustle, baby.
And the two PCs are now complete and I've listed the first one and it's got all the RGB bling. I've also run it through a heap of stress testing in Cyberpunk and made sure that it's actually good to go and play this game. And one thing that I was surprised about, and I will be doing a full dedicated guide towards Cyberpunk and the best settings and all the different quality settings and FPS, but one thing I found is that DLSS 2.0 does work really well on the quality setting on this game. And that's now a draw card that I can use in the advert when I go to sell this PC. And also wanted to test the temperatures out on this case as well as the noise. And surprisingly, the Gamdius Athena Ram 1 case, I've been using this in some of my flips in the past, it does a really good job in terms of balancing out the temperatures and the noise from the get-go. And so I found that my parts weren't going over 70 degrees C, both the GPU and the CPU. And as you guys probably know and like, <laughs> The 20 other videos we've done recently, I have been stressing that my ambient temperatures are a little bit warmer than you're probably used to seeing on most channels. So in other words, this 70 degrees is actually a really good number in relation to this build. Though Cyberpunk aside and FPS aside, you guys are probably wondering, Brian, how much are you gonna flip these things for and what are you gonna do uh, going forward? And this game actually came out at a perfect time because I had just finished all this backlog of stuff that we had to get through here on the channel and then this game came out and I've got these PCs ready to build. It's like a perfect combo. Now, one thing you're gonna see with the flip up challenge is always take advantage of what the trend is going through. Jump on that and if you can make a dollar to make your own gaming PC better or make a dollar to save some money for yourself and do other things outside of PC gaming, then definitely go do that. So this is Cyberpunk 2077. This is the latest trend coming through and I'm definitely gonna be selling PCs based around that because I think a lot of people, at least from what I'm seeing, they're gonna be buying a PC and even at 1080p, not getting the FPS they want. And after that, they're gonna like, well, I've got to upgrade my PC. And then they've got an RTX 3000 system waiting, the adverts got ready to go. You're beating the retailers as well. And this is one thing, people come on my comments and like, Brian, you're making profit. And they're hating on me for making profits. Like, man, I'm saving the person money as opposed to them going out to a retailer, especially some of the local ones that are renowned for ripping people off, I'm saving them money. And in the process, I'm making money. So that transaction for me, I'm happy with that. But a lot of you guys out there already know what this series is about. It's about making magic happen. Now you're probably wondering, what's the magic plan? So I'm gonna test the waters with these 3070 PCs. We built them for about $2,200 because the graphics cards costed about $890 each for the 3070s. And then we outlaid a little bit over $1,200 for the rest of the system. And so what I think with the PC, and because it looks so good, and the photos came out so well, and the build and the temperatures and everything else is really good to go, and the specs are very high, I think I can go for around $2,900 on each of these PCs. So hopefully we can make around $700 profit on each of these flips, and then that'll give us a very strong position going forward into the next episode where we've already got $1,400 left over in the kitty. But because of the way the market's moving right now, I'm finding that, for instance, those other two builds in the last episode, they took me a long time to flip. And the 3080 build was actually quite quick. And I even sold a second 3080 build. And so I'm just seeing, I'm constantly gauging the market and seeing where the demand is. And so there's actually quite a bit of demand on the high end right now. And so I'm gonna be trying to work my magic there but that is based on one factor, and that is actually getting the cards. Now the 3080s, they're in really hot demand. I'm gonna to talk to my guy up at Ipswich and see what I can do or see what he can do me. He has been getting the colorful cards in and pretty much only those because the rest of the models are going through traditional retail channels and they're pretty much booked out. So him having this avenue where he's getting these colorful cards in and a lot of people in Australia are like, oh, like they got a kind of like a brand phobia thing going on. They're like, oh, I don't want to, I don't know what a colorful card is. I don't want to touch it. Me, I've tested these cards out. They're absolutely fine. I'm like, yeah, let's start moving this stuff. We've got warranty on it. And that's the main thing, right? These PCs with the new side, I've also got warranty on them. So with some of the used parts, I did get hosed recently, the 7850 that I got on a parts hunt that was separate to this challenge. But that was like, that's what's happening with the used market. And actually a few months ago, I said in the gas station video that we did, I'll put the link up here. I did warn this and I should have taken my own advice, but I did warn that as times get tougher in the economy, 
there's going to be a lot more of this hosing and scamming going on. So from now on, I'm pretty much, I'm getting verification of if I'm buying used parts now, I'm getting verification that they work. If I don't get verification they work, I'm not going to buy them. I'm just going to leave them sitting there because the amount of hosing, I'm just seeing it, the amount of hosing that's going to start happening in the next year, especially on used parts, is only going to go up. But the last thing I'm going to talk about right now is jumping into Cyberpunk. First impressions, man, this game is really exciting. It's a huge world. I'm getting into the story as well. I did have one critiquing point, but I'm not going to spoil it if you guys haven't played it yet. It's a really good game and I'm loving it so far. But keep in mind, it is one of those games that I feel does require very heavy hardware to run. It's not a game that'll run on the usual $100 potatoes that we do here on the channel. So if anything, hopefully this series is helping you guys out in your own lives and you can say, hey, if I put this together, I can make a little bit of money here, build myself up a better gaming PC. Because that's one thing I've always loved doing around Tech yeah City is showing you guys how you can make a buck on the side or use your knowledge and your talent to make some gaming PCs up and make a bit of profit. And I know some people out there will critique me and say like, you're fueling your competition, you're helping them out, you're showing them all the metas. It does, at the end of the day, you, as long as you guys, just like, as long as you're clicking on the videos and you're liking them and enjoying the content, I'm grateful for where I am and I'm always happy just going forward, staying positive and bringing that tech, yes, energy to the table that you guys love. Anyhow, if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit that like button also stay tuned in the next week. We are giving away an RTX 3080 PC. So stay tuned on how you can get in with a chance to win that. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button for us. Also let us know in that comment section below, what was your favorite piece of today's flip up challenge? Do let us know. I love uh, reading you guys all the time. I love reading those comments. And we got the question of the day here, speaking about love and comments. We got it from Mia Buka. And they ask, you may not be a big fan, but are you at least an RGB fan? <laughs> and the answer to that is definitely yes. When it comes to uh, flipping PCs especially, you gotta be an RGB fan. If, if you're not, then you could be missing out on a sale. And if you stayed this far and you're enjoying that Tech Yes content, be sure to hit that sub button, ring that bell, and I'll catch you guys in another one very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.